Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, cardiologist and a heart patient myself. Uh, today, we are going to dive into a crucial topic, the side effects of statins. Who is at risk and what you can do about it. And we'll look at natural ways to lower your cholesterol without medication. Before we delve into the nitty gritty, let's understand why cholesterol matters. It's not just the villain, it's essential for our health and it plays a crucial roles in forming uh, cell membranes and serves a precursor to very important hormones, the cortisol, uh, sex hormones, testosterone, estrogens, and aids in the vitamin D production, even helps with bile acid uh, formation. And statins interfere with your liver making cholesterol, most importantly the LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol. What types of statins are available? Well, in the United States, we have eight statins that have been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Here is the list. You have atorvastatin, you have fluvastatin, lovastatin, uh, you have pitavastatin and pravastatin, and rosuvastatin and sinvastatin. And not everyone who takes a statin suffers side effects. Uh, but some people are at higher risk, and these include uh, people with certain conditions like uh, hypothyroidism, uh, the gland on your neck, the thyroid is not working enough, or people with neuromuscular diseases, including Lou Gehrig's disease, the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, but just old age. Uh, people 80 and older are at higher risk. And if you have kidney failure and you have liver failure, you are at higher risk. If you uh, drink excessive alcohol, and if you take multiple medications to lower cholesterol, if you take medications that could react with statins, and even drinking grapefruit juice with certain statins can increase your risk of side effects, but not all statins. And being female and having a small body frame as well. Let's address the elephant in the room, the top five side effects of statins, and I will uh, leave a bonus at the end of the video. It's a very important message, so uh, you don't want to miss it. Number one, muscle pain and muscle damage called myopathy. Have you ever experienced muscle pain or soreness while on statins? If so, you're not alone. In fact, the muscle pain is the most common side effect and the most common complaint on people taking statins. And you may feel pain or soreness or tiredness or weakness in your muscles and uh, the pain could vary from just a mild discomfort to uh, in serious cases uh, uh, being debilitating uh, making you unable to do your daily activities and the real risk of developing uh, muscle pain due to statins is about actually five percent and when you compare it to a placebo a sugar pill but up to 30 percent of people who are taking statins stop the medication because of muscle pains but the good news, the pain typically uh, goes away, resolves within one or two weeks of stopping the statin. But a uh, 2022 study published in the Lancet and review records of over 150,000 people that had been uh, randomized in clinical trials. And they looked at complaint of muscle pain and found that 90% of the complaints were actually not related to the statin itself. Uh, however, in very few cases, a few cases per million, uh, uh, people taking statins can get uh, muscle damage called rhabdomyolysis, a very severe condition with uh, muscle breakdown leading to uh, uh, severe muscle pain and liver damage and uh, dark colored urine and kidney failure, even death. And, the risk factors for this uh, rhabdomyolysis, the muscle breakdown, are people who are high dose on statins and combining statins with other drugs that lower cholesterol, like gene fibrozil, uh, clarithromycin, uh, antibiotic used to treat upper respiratory infections, and cyclosporin. Number two, headaches and other neurological effects. Uh, headaches are a common initial side effect of statin therapy, and they often uh, diminish over time as your body adjusts to the new medication and usually can take care of it with uh, over-the-counter medication like uh, Tylenol for your headaches. And some patients may develop memory loss or 
confusion. Uh, but these side effects go away once you stop the statins. On the other hand, there is actually evidence that uh, statins may help brain function, even in people with uh, dementia. Number three, increased blood sugar. Uh, one of the side effects of statins is the potential to increase your blood sugar levels. Uh, this is more likely happening in uh, people who are already have pre-diabetes or have strong family history of diabetes and they already have a higher blood sugar to start with. But it's crucial to monitor your blood sugar levels regularly to detect any abnormalities early on and uh, uh, allow for a timely intervention to avoid diabetes. Who develops diabetes on statins? If you take statins for four years, it's about one in 255 patients will develop diabetes. And you want to know that pitavastatin, uh, this uh, statin in particular, does not cause diabetes, does not elevate your blood sugar. Number four, uh, stomach issues, digestive issues, uh, uh, symptoms of stomach upset, uh, nausea, constipation, even uh, diarrhea are relatively common among statin users, especially during the initial stages of treatment. Uh, Fortunately, these issues usually go away as your body adapts to the new medication. Taking the statins with food can help minimize these uh, stomach and gastrointestinal issues. Number five, liver damage and liver inflammation, um, some form of hepatitis. So before initiating the statin therapy, the liver enzymes uh, need to be checked to rule out any pre-existing liver condition. But about 1% of the people who take statins will have some liver enzyme elevation. Usually it's not their big issue unless they keep going up. And usually it could continue the statins and the liver enzymes uh, stabilize. In very rare situations, you could have severe liver damage and uh, causing a yellowing of the or eyes and your skin called jaundice. That will be very rare, but nonetheless a, a very serious condition that needs immediate attention. But if you develop side effects, what can you do about it? There are many options. In fact, you could obviously stop the statin. Uh, uh, many times it's hard to figure out if your muscle pains uh, are due to statins or not. You could stop the statin if the pain goes away in one or two weeks. It's probably the statin. You could just decrease the dose. Lowering the dose may be enough to alleviate your uh, symptoms and still uh, producing cholesterol lowering effects. And you could switch medications. Not all statins affect individuals in the same way. So your doctor may suggest trying a different one and see if it agrees with you. And today we have many alternative medications to lower your cholesterol besides the statins. We have, for instance, a zetimibe, uh, zeti. It's a statin that decreases the absorption of cholesterol in your gut and allows to decrease the dose of your uh, statin. And then we have other group of medications that lower your cholesterol very effectively, nothing to do with the statin. It's called the PCSK9 inhibitors, the uh, lirikumab and evolucumab. Uh, and bimpedoc acid blocks also the production of cholesterol in your liver, but does not get into the muscles. And if you start exercise program, you want to take it easy. You, uh, if you're not used to exercise, the exercise itself may increase your uh, risk of muscle injury, give you some muscle soreness and muscle uh, pain. So you want to start it gradually. And in some cases, your doctor may recommend a supplement with coenzyme Q10. It's, a natural substance occurring in the uh, body it has been shown in certain cases help with the muscle related side effects of uh, statins. And if you still have some uh, issues, there are specialized uh, services and certain even clinics, certain part of the country, they have statin intolerance clinics where they can do advanced uh, tests, including muscle biopsy and muscle strength uh, uh, tests uh, and genetic tests that uh, uh, can be performed to get to the bottom of the issue. Before committing to statins, uh, consider exploring natural methods to lower your uh, cholesterol. And in fact, uh, whole foods plant-based diet, uh, the DASH diet, the entire approach to stop hypertension diet was developed 
to lower blood pressure and uh, is uh, rich in fruits and vegetables, still allow uh, fish and, uh, and poultry. And there's this diet that was developed by Dr. Jenkins in Canada called the Portfolio Diet, very high, rich in fiber that he proved he could lower your cholesterol with his diet as much as the static. And obviously, if you are overweight or obese, you need to lose weight, you will improve your LDL uh, cholesterol. Uh, obviously, physical activity, increased physical activity and exercise, uh, we recommend at least 30 minutes, uh, five times a week, a moderate exercise or 75 minutes high intensity exercise will also not only help lower your weight, but also lower your cholesterol. And to learn more about ways to naturally lower your cholesterol, watch this video, say goodbye cholesterol with food. I'll put a link above and on the description. But remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.